It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold, revealing we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you all for being a part of this last day's church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. And thanks to all of you who are supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. You praying and you giving is what supports this ministry to continue as we prepare together for the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. The signs of the last day's prophecies are increasing and proliferating in the world, declaring the truth of the nearing appearance of Jesus Christ for his church, as signs are continuing to manifest of the coming prophetic one world religion of revelation prophecy, as one world religion is now taking the U.S. Bible Belt, where in Texas, evangelical Christians with Muslims and Jews had their meetings where together they committed to world religious unity. The Dallas News, Arab media, and Jewish media all reported on this global faith forum where it was said that this type of one world religious meeting had never happened before in the heart of the Bible Belt of America, where leaders of all three Abrahamic religions of Muslims, Jews, and Christians had come together like this. Several current and former ambassadors joined hundreds of representative leaders from the three Abrahamic faiths, including well-known Muslim imams, Jewish rabbis, and evangelical pastors, with them all gathering together in Dallas, Texas, where Bob Roberts served as the global faith meeting host at a megachurch in Dallas. And he said that this type of gathering has never happened before, especially in the heart of the Bible Belt. But he said that we believe it will be the starting point for change. The U.S. Ambassador for International Religious Freedom, Ambassador Rashad Hussein, also spoke at the meeting, and Mohammed Al Isa, Secretary General of the Muslim World League, also spoke and introduced the Muslim Mecca Declaration at this global faith meeting in the Bible Belt here in Texas. The Charter of Mecca was created by the Muslim World League in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, where it was written by a consensus of more than 1,200 Muslim scholars and then affirmed by over 5,000 Muslim theologians. Then it was approved by Islamic leaders of 130 nations with the Charter of Mecca considered the most important document of modern Islamic history that encourages world unity and peace with him saying that it is a roadmap for religions of the world to come together. The Muslim document offers to the world guidance with what they say are principles from the true meaning of Islam, including that all people, regardless of their different ethnicities, races, and nationalities, they say are all equal under God and that religious and ethnic claims of preference must all be rejected. Since the differences among people in their beliefs, cultures, and natures, they say are part of God's will and wisdom. 
So they say, therefore, religious and cultural diversity never justifies conflict since they say that God revealed himself to all mankind and is the origin of all religious beliefs. Therefore, global citizenship and participation, they say, is a requirement for all. And now here in the Bible Belt of America, on the platform of a Texas evangelical megachurch, you had a Muslim imam wearing a traditional long tunic who stood and recited passages from the Quran with this Islamic ritual being held in an evangelical church sanctuary, leading Christians, Muslims, and Jews into an understanding between the Abrahamic faiths for the purpose of world religious unity, where they said in this meeting that they believe that religion will not be the problem, but that it will be the solution for world unity and peace, which is exactly the beautiful sounding deception that is foretold in Revelation chapter 13 prophecy, where it is foretold that this deception will be used by the religious false prophet to usher in a world religion that will support the political Antichrist. And here now, in the Bible Belt of America, in the name of world religious unity, Muslim imams, Jewish rabbis, and evangelical pastors, they signed on together in a letter supporting the Muslim Charter of Mecca for one world religious unity. The attendees of this one world religious meeting was like a who's who religious list of leaders where besides the ambassador for international religious freedom and besides the secretary general of the Muslim World League, there were other religious leaders as Rabbi David Saperstein, a founder of Multi-Faith Neighbors Network. Then Walter Kim was there, who is the president of the National Evangelical Association. Also, Ambassador David Beasley, the executive director of the U.S. World Food Program and winner of the 2020 Nobel Peace Prize was there. <clears throat> and then also, Ambassador Sam Brownback, the former ambassador of international religious freedom was there. And Ambassador Brownback said at the meeting that peace in the world, he said, must start with the Abrahamic faiths, with steps toward world peace beginning among the adherents of the Abrahamic faiths in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And at this meeting, the primary focus was on being a bridge builder, with one imam saying that building bridges will make peace. And Bob Roberts, the evangelical pastor of this Texas megachurch that was hosting this world, one world religious unity meeting. In the name of world religious unity with Muslim imams, Jewish rabbis, and evangelicals, Roberts leading this meeting, he has in his own words and writings made it clear that he is an admirer of Pope Francis of the Roman Church. With him praising Pope Francis as the one who bears the Roman title 
of the Pontifex Maximus, which that word means the bridge builder. But the Pontifex Maximus was the title and role which came from the ancient Roman government and Roman religion from the original days of Roman antiquity. In the ancient Roman Republic, there was the College of the Priests, or College of Pontiffs, which were prestigious, and its leader was called the Pontifex Maximus, who was the most powerful of all the Roman priests, which in the Roman Republic came to have a political and religious authority, with the Pontiff Maximi being responsible for the calendar, for timekeeping, and also being the expert of law. And when the Roman Republic grew into the Roman Empire, the Roman Emperor, the Caesar, received the office and title of the Pontifex Maximus with all the political and religious authority invested in the imperial office of Rome as the head of the state and the head of the religion. And then the title of Pontifex Maximus, which had went from the Roman ruling priest, Roman ruling priesthood of antiquity, then going to the Roman emperor as God, and then after the Roman Empire created its own Roman church, the title of Pontifex Maximus was transferred to the Roman pontiff of the Roman church of the Roman Empire, with the Roman pontiff being the vicar of God in his place. The Pontifex Maximus, which means supreme pontiff and highest priest, it comes from a root word meaning bridge maker. And this Roman pontiff of today has been making bridges in unprecedented historical events before our eyes that is drawing the world's religions together in a fraternity, a fraternity of one world religion, to where even evangelical megachurch pastors have become followers and disciples of the same message that also comes from the Vatican, to where now today evangelical Christians and evangelical megachurch pastors are promoting this message in the Bible Belt of America. As Roberts, who has had private meetings and discussions with the Roman pontiff, where they have talked about their joint work in building bridges to bring the world together in religious unity, Roberts himself has called out the Roman pope as being the Pontifex, with Robert saying in his own words and in his own writings that the Roman Pontiff, as the Pontifex, he said that he is the political head of state of the Vatican City State and also as the religious leader of the Roman Church around the world. He said that the Roman pontiff is able to build the bridges, bringing the political and religious world together, and that this is the solution for world unity and peace. We have taught here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry for years how that the false religious system of modern Christianity that is unfaithful to the written teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ and his chosen apostles in the Holy Bible. We have taught how that that false religious system of modern Christianity, that it will accept and follow the false prophet of the Antichrist. It will be the great seduction of the world and the great deception by the mother harlot of Revelation chapter 17 and her daughters of compromise who will prostitute the absolute teachings of Jesus Christ and his apostles 
as modern Christianity that is seduced by spiritual harlotry, which is the spirit of compromise with the world, is a part of this ecumenical world religion that is rising up from the Vatican all the way to now in the evangelical megachurches of Texas that will promote unity over all else to where the commandments and opinions of men will become preferred and chosen over what Jesus and his chosen apostles explicitly said in the Holy Bible. It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And these events and conditions that we are describing are connecting to the end time as warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies, which is revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church by being faithful and following the actual words of the Lord Jesus Christ and his chosen apostles, by following the commandment of the Lord Jesus Christ in John chapter 3, and verse 3 through 7, to be born again of the water and of the Spirit, or we cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Today, there are mega churches, there are mega preachers, who say, just say this prayer with me. And if you said that prayer, you've been born again. That's not what the Lord Jesus Christ said. He said, you must be born again of the water and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord Jesus Christ commanded that he gave only his apostle the key of the kingdom of heaven and that whatever was preached by the apostle, was bound or recorded in heaven, which is eternal for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus said that in Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19. And then the apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, whenever the Lord Jesus started his church in the acts of the apostles of their preaching, in Acts the second chapter, when the Lord Jesus poured out his Holy Spirit and began his church, the apostles stood up And they preached that to be born again of the water was to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and then to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the water and the Spirit. And the same message was preached by the apostles in Acts chapter 10, when the Lord started his church among the Gentiles. And then when the Lord had his gospel message of salvation spread among the nations in Acts chapter 19, The apostle there also preached the same exact born-again message through the Lord Jesus Christ, through his name in the water and being filled with his Holy Spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ said that what he and his apostles taught was bound, was recorded in heaven. And it's time now to follow after the Holy Spirit and the Holy Word of the Lord in these last days. Be looking for our next live stream as our Watch and Pray live streams on Sunday evening as we share more signs of the last day's prophecies. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and that you click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams. Significant events are happening. The signs are of the prophecies are happening in the world right now. And the Lord Jesus said that when you see these signs happening, he said, be looking up, for these signs show that our redemption is drawing near. The Lord bless you and keep you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
Distance gone.